Hey everyone, one of the great features of the Card and Cloud mobile app is the ability to be able to reallocate stock. So reallocation is when you swap out which stock it is you're picking from the stock that was originally assigned. Let's take this for an example. This is a bulk location. It's full of identical product, uh, but I've got all these bulker bags here. Now, if the system had allocated a pallet that's in the middle of this, it would be quite challenging for me to go and get that pallet out. So using reallocation, what I can do is simply come up and scan the pallet barcode for this bulk bag that's at the front of this line and take it. And in the background, what Card and Cloud does is it actually swaps out that product. So it's super useful if you do any bulk stacking of product within your warehouse, because it means that you no longer have to access that exact item to be able to get that stock out and keeps those stock records much, much cleaner. Another thing about it though, is you actually don't have to reallocate within the same location. So let's say for example, you had stock that was up very high in your racking and you may have found another pallet of the same product that's down low. You can just reallocate to that other product as well. To show you another use case, follow me and we'll go down to some serialized product and I'll take you through how you can use reallocation with that as well. So what we've got here is some product which is serialized. These products have individual serial numbers on each box. Now, when an order comes into Card and Cloud, it would assign a particular serial number to the order. However, you can actually come up to the, to the particular location and you can just scan a different serial number if you want and it will reallocate it. Now, this makes it really great if you've got, say, a box full of small items like phones or other things that have serial numbers stored and trying to find that particular serial number can be very challenging. So rather than having to do that, you can simply tell the system which serial number it is that you're taking at the time of picking, and then it will substitute that item out or reallocate it in the background for you. And it just saves a lot of time having to go back to the computer and manipulate the order if you can't find the particular serial number that was assigned.